Hi everybody, it's Lenny, and welcome back to the channel. Alright, so DMO. Now I'm bringing cars online again. So I've got my save wizard, and I lost save wizard for a bit, but it's a long story. Anyway, got save wizard back, and I'm starting to bring a few cars back online. Now, this method is different than the last method I posted, that's why I'm making a video on it. It's a lot easier, okay? It's not going to... Um, be too stressful for you guys. Obviously this is PlayStation only. The modded save is in the description. Now this modded save in the description is the original DMO light save. I've actually modded it with some cars on there so you guys can bring online if you have trouble with the save editor um, and have trouble making modded cars. I endeavour to bring a video out about that um, but at the moment I haven't done that so if you guys don't know how to make modded cars the save in the description has modded cars on it you can bring on. Um, yeah, it's just some stuff I chuck together. So with this method, it's not net cut. Okay, you do not need net cut for this. Um, you will need one friend, like always. They need to be in a invite only session. Okay, they need to be in a job. Okay, they need to be sitting in a settings of Titan of a job or something like that in a mission while you're doing this part. Okay, so at this point, you need your friend to be there ready to go in that invite only sitting in a job. All right, sorry, just having a cup of coffee at the same time. So from this point onwards, um, you're going to have to have your internet set at um, the MTU set at about 6.15 to 6.50, depending on your internet or whatnot. Mine is set at 6.15 with a LAN cable, the LAN cable. Okay, so if you're running off the Wi-Fi, I don't know how that's going to go, but um, if you have the option to use the LAN cable, that's what you want to be using and you want to go to your custom internet settings and set your MTU to 615 okay, or 650 or somewhere around there. This method of bringing cars online um, I have stated it's different. Um, please follow the steps. Um, if you have any trouble understanding anything please ask me in the comments. I will definitely answer best I can. Um, definitely only for PlayStation and um, yeah, so we'll get into it. To start off with, load the save. Okay, so you have to apply the save in the description to your game save um, in GTA and with Save Wizard and load it up. Okay, so I delete any saves that correspond that I have in my account and I just have that save that loads up like this. Once you load the save up, you'll be Trevor and his undies. Alright, so because I delete everything off my actual save data except for the save, I just change all my settings back. So the person I'm joining is in free aim, so I'm making sure at this point that I'm in the same targeting mode as the person I'm joining, because that will stuff it up if you don't do that. And I just change my controller to the way I like it. So once you do that, um, you are Trevor, so you want to change to Franklin as you see me do in the background. Okay, once you load in as Franklin, you're going to have an animation of some form. Um, once right, that so happens, time, right? he's going to pick up the phone. He's going to call us down. Alright, so once he calls Lester, you simply want to end the call. Franklin! What's happening, Lester? And then from here, you want to input the cheat for Wanted Up Level. Okay, that will be in the description. You guys can check that out if you don't know it already. Now, from here, you want to hop into Franklin's car or hop on his bike and make your way to the where the police are. Now, you need to do this sort of quick because you, no with this save, it sort of works in a way that you are going to transition to Trevor in a sec. Um, so you need to do this part sort of quick where you get the police and go over to them. Once you get over to them, walk up to them and make sure it's only at one star level. Hold the pause button. As soon as Franklin's arms go up, release the pause button. Okay, so you need the animation of Franklin just about to get busted. From here, okay, go to the online, go to play GT online and go go. Okay, you're going to have this alert up right now. Now this is where it's a little bit different. Alright, so from here you want to go back to your dashboard and you want to find a way to suspend GTA. Okay, so you don't want to suspend yet, but you want to be able to go to it. So I'm going to Netflix. Once I'm hovering over Netflix, I double tap, come back to the game. We're going to accept this alert. As soon as I accept it, I'm going to double tap. And I'm going to go and I'm going to suspend GTA by going into Netflix. Okay, you can do that with Stan, with um, whatever you can suspend GTA with, okay, so whether it's editing a clip or YouTube or whatever. Once you suspend it um, for about five seconds, then come back to the game, you should have this Rockstar Services alert. 
After about three to four seconds, go to your dashboard, find your friend that's in that job, join them once, okay? Once you join them, it'll bring you back to the game. Double tap your PS button and join them for a second time, okay? I always double join just to be safe. Once you join them for the second time, you'll still be on this Rockstar Services Alert. Okay, after about five to ten seconds, you can accept it. Okay, you get this flash of alert, it'll go away. You want to be spamming the accept button right now. So you get the first alert, second alert. As soon as you accept both of them, double tap and join your friend again. Okay, join your friend that's in that job. Now you're going to get this alert here. You don't want to accept this alert or decline it. You just want to let it go away all by itself. Once it goes away, um, you'll, all done correctly, you'll end up spawning down as Trevor. And... This is where it gets a little bit different than last time. So if you remember the last DMO method where you actually, we spawned down as Trevor and we decline the next alert that we get. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you that you can actually accept the alert that comes up and you accept the second alert, okay? And in a second, I'm gonna tell you why this happens and what we can do with it and what, what benefits we have from it. Alright, so we're spawning down as Michael, as Trevor right now. You're going to get the first alert, so accept it. And then you're going to get a second alert, accept it. Here. From here, interaction ice menu open, and then go over to director mode. Hover over that, and when you can, accept it. Okay. From here, Trevor's going to go into the trailer. Okay, simply want to press up on the D-pad once, and go into director mode itself. Okay, so we're in the trailer here. We've accepted the enter DM, and then we're actually entering DM as Trevor. Um, in the background, we're sort of transitioning to an online session. Okay, so once we are in director mode itself here, go into your interaction menu, go into the garage, and you want to select the car that you want to bring out. Okay. So why we accepted those alerts um, then, other than declining them like we used to, these vehicles here that you can see that I've just selected and are sitting here, they're not despawning, okay? Because we accepted those alerts instead of declining it. Um, the cars that we're trying to bring online actually will stay here, but they won't despawn. Okay, so we don't have to keep trying to like accept them to make sure they show up again before we load into an online session. So in a sec, I'm going to get the time of day to change, the money will come on the right hand side. Okay, my interaction menu for DM is open and I'm hovering over return to casting trailer. Okay, as soon as I see my money like that, I basically want to accept either a return to trailer or exit DM. Okay, you want to sit on this alert now. Now th at this point, this is where your friend will try and join you in this session. Okay, so either via the pause menu or via the dashboard. Okay, so this here is the alternative. Okay, so here I'm going to decline this alert. Okay, instead of accepting it. And once you decline it, you basically enter DM. Now this is just for you guys to show you what happens if you don't accept that alert when you're loading in as Trevor there instead of declining it. Okay, like we used to. So it all goes the same. You end up in the trailer and then you go to enter DM. But once you go into director mode itself or you're transitioning to online, you actually will have vehicles disappearing, like the new DLC vehicles. Anything that's been bought on that's not in story mode will despawn every time. So if you go to the menu here, I'll select one of the new cars. So that's the GT4 Celica. Oh, you'll see in a second here it disappears. Okay, see how it disappeared? That's what happens if you don't accept those alerts. Um, so I just want to show you guys that to make you understand why we changed that up and we like accept those alerts now because it's a, it's a pain in the ass when these cars despawn. The only downside to this, every time I've done this glitch where I've accepted the alerts where Trevor's on top of the mountain there, I end up in a public session that's pretty much full. Alright, so that's a really pain in the ass because you're trying to do gift card of friends in that session. Um, with other people, especially with like, yeah, MK2s rolling around and whatnot. So that's the only downside to this method. The method that I'm doing in the background where I'm trying to bring a car on with the declining that alert, I always end up in a public session all by myself. Um, but you'll see in a sec that I actually don't get a car this time because it despawns 
at the transitioning time, which means the car doesn't come online. So another little problem you may face with bringing cars on is your friend that's helping you, that your, your friend's sitting in the job. Once he's out of that job um, and you have the car online and you're sitting on that alert that says return to the trailer or exit DM, when they go to join you via the pause menu or by the dashboard, I'm noticing that it's getting a bit hard to do that. Okay, you always get the an error or you get like play is not in session anymore. That does happen. It can happen more than once. Um, I usually find that um, even if I get an error or something like that, I end up in the same session as the car anyway. So it's a bit of a hit and miss, but that's what happens. Okay. But that's pretty much it for the video. I'm sorry it's so long. I just wanted to explain everything to you guys. And we'll catch you in the next one. Okay? Alright, see you guys.